Hey everybody, this is Coach D with TackleTrading.com here to talk to you about the Options Greek Row. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Again, you'll recall that the options pricing model is known as the Black-Scholes model. And there are a lot of variables in the Black-Scholes model. you got your delta, your theta, your vega, your gamma. And of course, in this video, we are focusing on row which has to do with interest rates. Now I'm going to repeat this definition a few times to help sure make sure we understand it. Rho is the rate at which the price of an option changes relative to a change in the risk-free interest rate. Rho is the measure of an option's sensitivity to the interest rate changes. Rho measures the sensitivity of an option or an entire portfolio of options to a change in interest rates. So you can actually use row not to measure just the individual options, but the actual portfolio of options as well, if you've got a lot of options in the in your trading account. Now, row's uh, got a relatively complex formula, and it's calculated as the first derivative of the options value with respect to the risk-free rate. And you might be asking, well, what is the risk-free rate? Well, Rho measures the expected change of an options price for a 1% change in a U.S. Treasury bill's risk-free interest rate. So if you've got a Rho of 0 0.20 on the option and the interest rate changes up or down 1%, well, that option premium is going to change 20 cents per share. So one contract, the premium would change maybe 20 bucks. So you have a pretty good understanding of how that works. Here's an example of an options chain on Microsoft. And you can see where I've got the row um, column highlighted here. And these are about six month options, uh, 160 days until expiration. You can see that 110 and 115 strike price. And that the 110 has a, has a row of 0.23 and the 115 has a row of 0.19. The same 1% change in interest rate uh, to a treasury bond would affect those two contracts differently as, as it would every option contract in the chain. Over here on the put side, you can see the same thing. We've got those same high, you know, contracts highlighted, the strike prices. And again, you can see that the 115 has a row of point, negative 0.31. And it's got a, the 110 has a row of negative 0.24. So again, a 1% change in interest would affect those option premiums as well. Again, keep in mind that the way the Black-Scholes model works is that all of those variables get calculated in real time. So not just the row, but the vega and the theta are being factored in every day in real time. Uh, the gamma and the rho, of course, we've been talking about will be will be a change. So if the, you know if we saw a raise in interest rates on the treasury bonds, on the treasury bills, then you would see the changes in the premiums in you know the moment they announce that. Uh, your delta would change, your stock price could change, and again, all those things get pumped into that Black Scholes model, and voila, your options model, uh, your options pricing model will spit out the value of the option. Coming out with us over at TackleTrading.com. We're having a good time teaching people how to trade and invest. Uh, you'll love it.